Ladies and gentlemen, we're on Josh Gaddis watch. Let's talk about it. What's up, guys? Welcome to NMD TV case. All case all day. If you're rocking with you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on a video. Josh Gaddis watch. What is that? That is where I will look at every tweet, every report, every rumor, everything I can. So me and you can try to figure out if Josh Gaddis is staying or is he going, will he be on the Miami Hurricane staff next year? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, I have had you guys hit me up on Twitter or leave a comment underneath the video and ask me, do I think Josh Gaddis, do I think Kevin Steele should come back next season? And my answer is, I do. I think Josh Gaddis and Kevin Steele should get another year at the coordinator positions to see if they can do better than they did last year. This year, I felt like, there was a lot of things like injuries, um, just just overall not 100% total buy-in that really held back this team that I don't know if any coordinator could have done a good job with it. So I think these guys should get another shot. And I also feel that if we start firing coordinators after one season, Mario's here to stay. But if Mario starts changing up staffs all willy-nilly, that really sends a message to other coordinators that may want to come to Miami. So I wouldn't mind seeing if we're going to bring back Tyler Van Dyke, bring back Josh Gaddis, they get a full offseason to work together, plus building off what they did last year. I wouldn't mind Kevin Steele getting to work with the defense. And these guys in this building get used to playing for the same coach two years in a row. I mean, some of these players have had maybe three or four offensive coordinators or three or four defensive coordinators. The coordinators always change. It feels like there's always somebody to blame. I would like to see what happens if, you know, I believe X said at one time, one of the things that was different between Lashley's offense and Gaddis' offense was that he had multiple years in Lashley's offense. So, that's what I think. But listen, I know some of you guys are already calling me crazy, calling me an idiot, saying this take is wrong. I know you guys are already said it, but I'm here to tell you, if Mario fired Josh Gaddis, I wouldn't be mad either because I understand the argument that you or Mario or whoever would make saying that the offense that we seen on the field is unacceptable, that it was historically bad. I'm not arguing with that. I, I, I will not defend that. I'm just letting you know, if you ask me, do I think Josh Gass should come back? I say, give him one more year. If you say the office was historically bad, he needs to go. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying, okay. Now let's take a look at what's been going on this week in Josh Gaddis' watch. Now we all thought after losing to Pittsburgh, we were going to come in Monday morning, drink our coffee, look at our phone. It was going to say, breaking Josh Gaddis fired or breaking Josh Gaddis will stay with the Miami Hurricanes. But we all know Mario does not roll like that. We all know Mario is on a different level. Mario is not like these other coaches. Mario isn't going to pander to my timeline, to your timeline. Mario does stuff on his own time, and half the time, we really don't know. I always say in this show, this, this channel is for us to talk about Miami Hurricane football. I do not break news. I do, I just... We just talk, you know, we're a family and we talk, we talk this out under the previous staffs. You could kind of guess what was happening. You could read tea leaves, but under Mario, even the hires of bringing in Gaddis still, these were names that people weren't saying they were not putting out there. Mario does his thing on his own time and he doesn't care what me, you, the media, he don't care. So Monday hit, nothing happened. Tuesday hit, nothing happened. Wednesday hit. Nothing happened. Then Thursday and Friday, we started getting some at least rumors, right? So the rumor today is Josh Gaddis is headed to the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now, what brought this rumor on? Cade McNamara, former quarterback for Michigan, played under Josh Gaddis. He transferred and decided to commit and go to the Iowa Hawkeyes. After he did that, this tweet started to surface. Rumors are Josh Gaddis could be returning to the Big Ten at Iowa as offensive coordinator slash wide receiver coach. Bo former Bama slash Michigan offensive coordinator who coached McNamara is currently at Miami. Then he goes on to say, Miami fans would be happy to move on from Josh Gaddis as offensive coordinator slash wide receiver. Iowa would be, would be glad to take him. Would be a massive upgrade and honestly a great hire slash fit 
at Iowa. Now that is from somebody who claims to be a fan of the Iowa Hawkeyes. There's no, that's not a media outlet reporting that. That is just a straight up rumor. And it does make a little sense. Josh Gaddis goes back to the Big Ten where he runs his, where he won his Burroughs Award. You go to um, Iowa who wants to run the ball, who wants to play at a slower pace, but you also play with a former quarterback. Iowa, People are saying they are looking for an offensive coordinator because a lot of people think they're an offensive coordinator away from uh, winning big games in a Big Ten. So that does, it does make sense. Will it happen? Time will tell. We don't know. But that is the first big rumor. Now, something else that a lot of people pointed to was today was the first day that the coaches can start going out, grinding, uh, the recruiting trail, you know, face to face. And it was reported today that Josh Gaddis is on the recruiting trail and out recruiting for Miami. Now, it depends on how you want to spin it. If you love Josh Gaddis, you can say, see, Mario's not going to fire him because he's out recruiting for us. But if you watch college football, we see time and time again, coaches are one day recruit for you. The next day they put in a new edit on with a new shirt, with a new Jersey. Just look at T Rob, you know, just look at uh B Mac. They dipped out super quick. So just because he's out recruiting, doesn't mean he's going to stay. Doesn't mean he, he is for sure going to be the offensive coordinator for the Miami hurricanes. Those are all the rumors slash talk slash conversation points. When it comes to Josh Gaddis, will he stay? Will he go? I think the big thing to know is, Mario keeps everything on the low. Think about the Cromartie McLean flip. Think about um, the hires. Think about everything he does. He does on his own time. He does it on Mario time. So the question is, when will we find out if Josh Gaddis will stay? We don't know, but you best believe we're on Gaddis Watch, and I'll talk about every rumor, every article, everything that's written. Hey, let me know your thoughts on Josh Gaddis. I'm out. Peace.